Imagine an entire city brought to its knees by a smell so powerful, it halted government business. In the summer of 1858, London was gripped by what became known as the Great Stink. The River Thames, choked with untreated human waste and industrial runoff, turned into a fetid, open sewer. Temperatures soared, intensifying the stench and making life unbearable for residents and officials alike. Lawmakers were forced to drape curtains soaked in chloride of lime over windows just to conduct meetings in the Houses of Parliament. The crisis exposed a dire public health threat. Cholera outbreaks had already claimed thousands of lives, but officials had yet to fully accept the link between contaminated water and disease. Enter Joseph Bazalgette, a visionary civil engineer with a bold plan. He designed an ambitious network of underground sewers to divert waste far downstream, away from the city's water supply, transforming urban sanitation. Construction began almost immediately, involving thousands of workers and innovative engineering techniques. This massive project marked one of the world's earliest modern public health interventions. The Great Stink didn't just clear the air, it sparked a revolution in how cities manage waste and protect their populations from deadly epidemics, setting a precedent still followed today.